Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm glad to see you here. Today, we are going to create a Power BI report with a web-like navigation experience. But first of all, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. Clicking on the bell icon also helps a lot. What do we mean by that web-like experience? In a nutshell, it means that instead of clicking through pages either on the left-hand side or on the bottom in Power BI service, we create dedicated navigation buttons to our users. It also means that we hide most of our report pages, but a bit more on that later. It will provide a much smoother and more fluid experience, and it will create a more professional look and feel for our report. At first, you may not think that this could have any impact on the user friendliness of your report, but believe me, these small but important design elements will provide a much better overall experience. Let's hop over to our favorite browser, Edge, and see the finished product. During the Microsoft Business Application Summit 2021, Microsoft has announced some new features for page navigation. I still believe that understanding what's possible with buttons and bookmarks is critical to create a great user experience. You probably already noticed that I don't have any data visualization on the page. I wanted to create this video purely focusing on the navigation aspect, so we are only going to have different backgrounds. I also hope that this way it will be easier to focus on this feature. By default, we are going to start from a welcome page and you can see immediately that there are no pages listed here. But we have four buttons on the welcome page. Those are the dedicated page navigation buttons that we are going to explore today. If I click on the red button, Power BI will move us to this page with a basketball court on it. If I click on the yellow one, we are going to see a huge soccer field and the pink button is going to reveal a tennis court. As I mentioned, this is going to be our final result. So let's head over to Power BI and see what do we need to do to have this set up. Here we are in Power BI and we have four report pages. Out of these four, we have one visible, our welcome page, and the other three pages are hidden. If I click through these pages, you can see that we have those backgrounds that we just saw a couple of seconds ago and our buttons. Let's go back to our welcome page and explore the buttons there. These buttons are Power BI default action buttons. So if we go over to top to find them, we can easily add another one under insert and buttons. I used blank buttons as I did not want to see any of those icons. The only trick here is that under action, I have assigned different pages to these buttons. Once you set up these buttons on the first page, you can copy and paste to all other pages. I like to work smart, not hard. All of those assigned actions are going to still be there. And this is it. It's not too difficult to create a web-like page navigation in Power BI. However, there is one more thing that I would like to show you today. Sure, these buttons are great and they already provide a better user interface or design to our report. But wouldn't it be nice to somehow disable the current report page from a list of buttons? It would definitely look more professional, as once we are on the basketball page, we don't need to have that navigation button available there, right? To be able to achieve that, we have two options to choose from. So, back to Power BI. Option number one, which is probably the quicker and easier solution, just simply delete the current page button from the page. It means that we are only going to have three page navigation buttons per page. Let's do that really quickly. Great. After publishing to the service, this is what our users are going to see.
Do you like this one better than the original one? Let me know down in the comments below. The second option requires a little bit more time spent on design. For this option, we are going to use a classic web design element. When we click on a button on a website, the button stays there, but the background of it will be grayed out, or the font of the text will change to italic. For this option, I have already created that grayed out, or in our case, that blacked out effect, just to make sure that it is easier to see the difference. So on each and every page, I change the background of the current page button to black. And this is how our final published report is going to look like. You can see it's not too difficult to add a bit of an advanced design element or feature to our report. I can guarantee that your report users are going to like it and highly benefit from a much easier page navigation. While this is just a quick demo on how to set up page navigation buttons, I would like to highlight that if you are really into design, you can also make changes to your background to further enhance the look and the feel of your report. What do you think about this page navigation? Are you going to implement something like this in your report? Would you consider this feature to be added to your next report? Let me know down in the comment section below, along with any other questions that you have about this. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!